Some limits are meant to be broken because being limitless can be a state of mind. However, where health and nutrition are concerned, knowing your limit is a good way to find the right balance of healthy diet and exercise. Today, we take a look at some of the fattest humans to ever exist. Stick around to the end and see our number one pick. We have a man's weight loss success journey that might just be the most unbelievable story you've ever seen. Before we move on, welcome to Cleverside, your daily dose of the most exciting information with just a click. Number 10. Patrick Duell at 1,071.45 pounds. Patrick Darren Duell was born in the state of Nebraska, USA. He was a Boy Scout that received awards and recognitions. He even went on to finish college education and became a restaurant manager. He could eat an adult's full meal and still have room for more. Despite his mother's efforts to serve her family with a healthy meal, Patrick would eat more and still not feel full. This continued until he reached his peak weight of 1,071 pounds. He was not able to leave his house and was bedridden for five years until a medical emergency team went to his house to rescue him from drowning in his weight. Under close watch at the hospital, he was on a strict diet with regular movement routines, but with his condition as a compulsive eater, he was still able to sneak in junk food, which continued to endanger his life. The complications of his weight caught up to him and he passed away at the age of 54. That's just our number 10 spot holding. Keep on watching because it's only going to get bigger and heavier. Number 9. Michael Herbronco at 1,100 pounds. Michael John Herbronco Jr. was a U.S. citizen born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, where he was coined one of the heaviest men in the world. With the way Michael's food consumption was more than the average person's, it comes as no surprise that he reached such a heavy weight. Diagnosed with morbid obesity, he started to take measures to lose weight by staying at St. Luke's Hospital for 19 months. His massive efforts of dieting and exercise, with the help of Richard Simmons, earned him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the highest recorded weight loss in the year 1990. He was featured in popular talk shows in the US, like The Howard Stern Show and The Oprah Winfrey Show. With his newfound fame, he embraced his new life, but sadly, he started to go back to his old and unhealthy ways. It was during this relapse he gained more than his previously recorded weight and reached his peak weight of 1,100 pounds. The complications of being obese caught up to him, and he passed away at the age of 60. Number 8. Iman Ahmed Abd al at 1,102 pounds. Iman Ahmed Abd al was an Egyptian citizen who grew up in the capital city of Alexandria, Egypt. Born in the year 1980, Iman was known to be heavier compared to other girls her age. In the early years of her life, it was identified that she was suffering from a thyroid problem which resulted in her having to not finish her schooling. But news about her surfaced that she was considered as the second heaviest woman in the world, but was never verified by the Guinness World Records. In a time where medical advancements have started to roll out, her treatment journey started in 2017, when she was granted a special medical visa to travel to India. She was joined by a team of specialists who were set on helping her improve her health condition with the help of bariatric surgery. Their goal was to reduce her weight to less than 220 pounds, from there, she managed to lose about 716 pounds and was later on transferred to the United Arab Emirates due to some disputes between her family and the Indian medical team. Unfortunately, Iman's treatment journey ended when she passed away in the hospital on the morning of September 25, 2017, due to kidney failure and intestinal shock. She was 37 and she never got the chance to live a normal life. Number 7. Francis John Lang at 1,186 pounds. Francis John Lang was a U.S. citizen who served as a soldier in Korea. According to Francis, his massive weight gain was brought on by his prescription drug abuse that had a side effect of him having an uncontrollable appetite. With his sudden weight gain, he managed to find the silver lining in his condition and traveled around the country, participating at carnivals and fairs. He used himself as an attraction by displaying his glory for people to see and observe. Number 6. Walter Hudson at 1,197 pounds. Walter Hudson was an American citizen who grew up in Brooklyn, New York with a very massive appetite. His activities were very limited to what's offered inside his home, but he didn't mind as long as he was able to eat anything he wanted. His regular breakfast meal consisted of 32 link sausages, a pound of bacon, a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread with grape jelly, and a pot of coffee. That's definitely more food than the body can handle. Apparently, he got monthly provision due to his broken leg, and he used this to cover the expenses, maintaining such an overwhelming menu. 
For being so wide, he became the world record holder for having the widest waist that measured 109 inches. Number 5. Carol Yeager at 1,199 pounds. Carol Ann Yeager is the record holder for being the heaviest woman ever, as verified by the Guinness Book of World Records. According to Carol, her eating disorder was a coping mechanism that she turned to after she was sexually abused by a close relative. Carol also had a lot of comorbid conditions that included breathing difficulty, high blood sugar level, and organ strains, especially on her heart. She succumbed to her condition when she passed away due to multiple organ failure and morbid obesity. Number 4. Juan Pedro Franco Salas at 1,311 pounds. Juan Pedro Franco's claim to fame started when he was recorded for achieving his peak weight at 1,316 pounds. Juan is a Mexican citizen who first got his media exposure in the year 2016 when his pictures of being transported to a clinic in Guadalajara emerged. His weight was measured at 1,311 pounds and was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, thyroid dysfunction, hypertension, and liquid in his lungs. In an interview with a local Mexican news agency, Juan Pedro highlighted how great he felt that he's able to lift up his arms and walk from one place to another. With the way Juan didn't surrender to his condition, you can seriously say that he's one heck of a survivor and a total victor. Number 3. Manuel Uribe Garza at 1,322 pounds. He started to garner worldwide attention in January 2006 when his plea for assistance was broadcast on the national waves of Mexican television. Of course, the coverage was later on picked up on a global scale with the way he was featured in the American documentary show The World's Heaviest Man in 2007. He was offered countless operations for gastric bypass surgery, but he's always rejected them. Instead, he focused on the diet. In May 2014, Manuel got hospitalized for suffering several cardiac arrhythmias and liver failure. A few weeks later, he passed away at the age of 48. Number 2. Khalid bin Moshen Shari at 1,344 pounds. He was 22 when he reached his peak weight of 1,344 pounds, which caused the king of Saudi Arabia to intervene on his shocking health condition. With the involvement of the king, the Ministry of Health was mobilized and his transfer to the capital was immediately arranged so he could go through a series of dietary and physical programs for weight loss. For Khalid to be accommodated at the King Fahd Medical City, a special unit was assigned for him, matched with special equipment. That's truly a royal treatment. In November 2017, it was reported that he lost a total of 1,194.91 pounds. Khalid can really set an example in the way that things are possible with intensive care and dedication. Number 1. John Brower Minich at 1,399 pounds. And we finally arrived at number one to meet the heaviest person that's ever lived. John lived in the state of Washington, where he was known to be a huge guy, standing at six foot one. As a child, he was always on the heavier side, but his parents took it that it was mostly baby fats taking over the best of him. It wasn't until he was 12 that they started to take his weight seriously as he weighed in at 294 pounds. Compared to the others, John didn't eat as much, but because of his medical condition, he could eat less but still gain a lot of weight. His doctors did their best to put him back into shape, but his underlying condition made it very difficult for them to continue. John's treatment was stopped, and he died 23 months later at the age of 41. And there you have it, Cleverlings. We would like to remind you to continue to choose a healthy lifestyle. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Here are some of our other videos you might like. Check them out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.